Hey, babe. <laughs> so, babe, I can't help but notice that it's like we're both in this, like, analysis paralysis. I can't help but notice that. It's like we're both just like stuck in our comfort zones and I don't know how to describe it. I don't know how to describe it, babe. But I was thinking um, I want to give us a little bit of Reiki and do a little ritual for um, getting us out of our comfort zone so that we can both be at our highest, fullest potential of greatness and success. Because I know I... There are things that I can do to be at my, f my full potential. And... I know you can be at your full potential, babe. And I think it's time for us to take that step. You know what I'm saying? And I think we should do it together. And I'll be here for you. And hopefully you'll be here for me. And let's, let's get out of our comfort zone. So basically, I have some tools that I want to use on you. Okay, babe. Essentially, the goal here is, of this session is to light a fire under our nuts, babe. We're lighting a fire under our nuts, babe, so that we can take inspired action rather than freezing up and not taking any action whatsoever. Hold on, babe. I need to adjust myself. Okay. So, are you cool with that, babe? Are you down? Okay, cool, because, like, uh, I'm down too. And, as you know, these Reiki sessions, they benefit me as well as you. And so we can both benefit from this. So the first thing I want to use, babe, on you. Well, hold on. I need to do the Reiki symbols. So honestly, I learned, I learned some new symbols, babe. I'm studying um, a different kind of Reiki, different from the Reiki I've been practicing, cause. I figured it was ready. I'm, I was ready to um, expand on my Reiki skills. So I'm gonna draw my usual symbols and I'm gonna add some new ones, okay? So thank you, thank you, thank you. Chokure. Chokure. Take some time to breathe, okay, babe? Seiki. Ancha seishonen. Very important. Ancha seishonen. Ancha seishonen. Daiko mayo. Daiko mayo. Daiko mayo. Raku. As well as Ouroboros. Ouroboros, Ouroboros, for transmutation, for energy transmutation, as well as um, positive transformation in this session, okay, to transmute our fear into courage and inspiration 
and motivation. Okay, so there's that. There's also, ooh, I also want to say scepter, scepter. Okay, for empowerment, scepter, for empowerment, scepter. Okay, so thank you. I also want to do the scarab. The scarab, hold on. I have, to, I have to remember how to draw this symbol. It's kind of complicated. It's kind of complicated. It's a complicated symbol. So. Um, I think that's how you do it. The, the little R. And the wings. Okay, so thank you, Reiki symbols, for assisting in this session. Okay, so um, yes, now that I have drawn the symbols, I'm going to also start this session off with this red candle, okay babe? It's a little red candle. So the reason why I'm using a red candle, babe, is because it's a very powerful, passionate color. Um, to be honest, I haven't used a red candle before. This is the first time I'm using a red candle, but I figured this is the perfect time because I want us to feel motivation, extreme passion and motivation and desire to overcome our fears. Um, however, we will be transmuting these fears into the passion. Okay, so that's the goal of this session. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna write on the candle. Let's see, what do we write? I'm just going to thank the candle first. Thank you, candle, for assisting in this session. Thank you for transmuting our fears and our analysis paralysis and our stagnancy into inspiration, um, divine inspired action, um, to take the actions that are in complete positive alignment with our full, fullest, highest potential of greatness and success. So, yeah. Thank you for giving us the desire, the motivation the passion, the inspiration to be at our fullest potential with utter fearlessness and complete courage yeah and excitement as well okay, so thank you Candle Gonna seal that intention into the candle. And as for what I write onto this candle, it's a lot of intention here that's playing a role here, but I'm gonna say trends. Trans mute <laughs> trans mute 
fear. Into Let's see. I want to say inspired action. Inspired. Inspired. Action. Okay. That, that's like a long phrase, but you know, it's worth it. So transmute fear into inspired action. Okay. Um, I'm gonna also, I'm gonna write again. Okay, so for, just to clarify, just to clarify. For, hmm, highest highest potential <laughs> potential I want to say, I want to keep writing of, just to specify, you know, highest potential. I have to be careful not to write over what I've already written. Highest potential. Of. <clears throat> I want to say greatness, greatness, and I'm going to fit this in, <laughs> success, success, Okay, so that was like a really, that's like a soup. I, I pretty much wrote all over the candle with that, but let's just check to see. I have to like look in the light. Hold on. Transmute fear into inspired action for highest potential of greatness and success. Okay, might write a little period after the success. Okay. <laughs> Talk about analysis paralysis. Am I right? Okay. Hold on, I'm just fixing my leg. Some cramping okay so now that that's done with writing on the candle so thank you candle for doing no harm I'm going to I don't have a lighter because my lighter ran out of juice so we're gonna be using this already lit candle to um, do it okay so i'm gonna light the bottom of this candle and stick it on so i want to emphasize thank you candle for doing no harm and working completely in our favor or better completely as intended or better for our highest good optimal being happiness and success thank you thank you thank you Ashi. a little seal in there okay gonna light it. Okay, there we go. 
so it's it's stuck onto the little thing. I made sure to get a red little jar cap just to match the vibe. And before we light the candle, I'm going to um, anoint it with some blockbuster oil. So I'm going to be using this Blockbuster oil to light the candle. Thank you, Blockbuster oil, for doing no harm and working as intended or better for the intention of this candle. Thank you for only working completely in our favor or better for our highest good with no harm. Just gonna anoint it just a little bit. Oops. It dripped on. <laughs> Some of it got onto you, babe. I'm sorry. Well, hopefully that serves. <laughs> so thank you, Blockbuster Oil. And um, on top of that, babe, I'm going to be adding some um, money oil some money and success oil so this oil has a few different intentions that I put into it but mainly it attracts money but it also helps you take action for that money um, It's for being, it's kind of like for being your own boss. It's like being your own boss, your own authority, making money moves, making good money moves. So I'm just shaking this up in order to really get all the good stuff mixed around. So thank you Money Oil for assisting in this. Thank you for making it so that the inspired action that we take um, attracts money towards us. So not only are we taking inspired action, but as a reward, we will be rewarded with riches for the inspired action that we're taking towards being our best selves, being at our highest potential of who we could be. So, I'm gonna open this now. And we're going to drip it onto the candle. Thank you. With no harm done and completely in our favor. Okay. I have a really good feeling about this candle. I'm really excited, babe, because... You know, this is much needed. You know... Because the comfort zone can be a very dangerous game. It's kind of like when you wake up and you have to be somewhere, but you rest your eyes instead of going. So hopefully this burns correctly. It's kind of lopsided because I melted the wax wrong. <laughs> at the bottom, so hopefully it burns, like, correctly. Alright, okay. Actually, babe, I have more to add to it. So I have the cinnamon to assist us with the fire element that we're doing here to also give us fast results. So thank you, Cinnamon, for assisting us in this spell, for giving us the courage 
lighting, metaphorically lighting a fire under our nuts. <laughs> so I just have a little cinnamon that I'm going to sprinkle onto the candle. So I'm sprinkling the cinnamon on it. With no harm done. Thank you, cinnamon. And the last thing that I want to do, babe, to this candle is add yarrow. Yarrow is an herb of courage and strength and confidence. It's very good. It's like a solar plexus kind of herb. So I'm going to add this. Thank you, yarrow, for assisting us, for giving us the strength and courage to take inspired action towards being our best selves. Being the best version of ourselves, being at our highest potential of greatness. So I'm not going to add so much because this herb is, you know, kind of bulky. I don't want to start a fire. <laughs> that would suck. I don't want to start a fire, babe. So um, I might just add it to something else in our session. This is going to be a long session. Dang, it's already been like... It's already been like 20 minutes. That's crazy, babe. Okay, so before I light the candle, babe, I have these tarot cards to assist us with the energies that we're trying to bring into the spell. So I'm going to place these tarot cards around the candle. But first, I'm going to show you the tarot cards that I'm going to be using. These are all tarot cards that I felt really um, were relevant to this spell. So the first one, it's not really in any particular order. It's the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So we're going to use this card because... For me, the Wheel of Fortune is a card that's like, it's about forward movement, it's about the wheel turning, it's about like a machine being oiled and moving, and it's about like, progress, you know? So that's what the Wheel of Fortune is for in this uh, sense. And then the next one is going to be, oh my god. I, I don't th I don't know if I want to do the tower. The tower is kind of um <laughs> I don't think I want to do the tower. But I kind of do. I feel like I do. Okay, so the tower is for positive change and transformation for basically If we're in our comfort zone, right, babe, it means that something needs to change in order for us to be at our fullest potential, and what's better change than the tower? <laughs> oh gosh, but um, I think the tower is a beneficial card. I don't know. Paired with a red candle, I'm not really sure if that's really beneficial. I'm not really sure if we want the tower, babe. The tower, that's like a crazy card. Look at that. That's like a tower falling down. I'm not sure. But intuitively, I feel like I do want to have the tower with no harm done. Completely in our favor. <laughs> Better for high school. Okay, so the tower is about change and transformation as well. Change that is out of your control. Okay, so... If this spell doesn't light a fire under your nuts, babe, then the tower will, certainly. You know, the fool is really great for inspired action. Taking a leap of faith that you've been too scared to 
take for whatever reason and um, despite your circumstances, despite your fears, um, despite any limitations, it's like you still trust the process of taking this inspired action. You do it anyway, you know? Even if people call you crazy or anything like that. <clears throat> so the strength for courage, for that Leo energy, that um, strength, essentially strength, <laughs> to take inspired action, the courage and the strength to take inspired action. Six of Wands for victory followed by the inspired action, okay? So that's why I picked the Six of Wands, just to be victorious with this inspired action that we're taking, ending up on top, okay? <clears throat> Ace of Wands for the um, passion the inspiration, the desire, okay? Kind of looking at this inspired action being like, mmm, yeah, that's tasty, you know? It's tasty energy. So, taking inspired action and liking it, okay? Knight of Rods, um, same as the Ace of Rods. I kind of just wanted to emphasize that, I guess. <laughs> uh, the Chariot. Oh my god. I, I pulled out so many cards. I'm not even sure. Like, <laughs> That's crazy. So the Chariot, because it's about forward movement. It's about... It's also about victory as well. So... Yeah, the chariot for that. It's about movement, forward movement. And the eight of wands, because it's also a card of movement and action, um, as well as quick action, fast results. Okay, so also to make this spell more fast acting. Okay. The King of Wands for um, masculine energy. Because, to be honest, um, just from my point of view and what I've learned about feminine and masculine energy is that <clears throat> not, 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 not having to do with the sexes, right? But, um, energy, feminine yin and yang energy, that yang energy that is necessary to take inspired action. Um, you know, f feminine energy is more receptive, but masculine energy is more do, you know, and... Yeah, it's all about the action, man. Going after what you want, and... Yeah. So that's the King of Wands. We're almost done. <laughs> so, the star to be in alignment with your highest potential. To be in alignment with your divine path, your divine mission, your authenticity. To be the best version of yourself. To shine as bright as possible. To unlock your skills, your talents. <clears throat> the greatness that is within you. Okay. <clears throat> Last one. Is the Knight of Swords. Because to me... If, if, if any of, if any card in the tarot deck is about taking action, this is definitely one. It might not be the best, you know, most positive taking action card, but it's definitely about taking action. <laughs> it might be a little impulsive, but, you know, 
It's about inspired action. So, all these cards, I intend to assist us with taking inspired action. So thank you to all of these tarot cards for doing no harm, working completely as intended or better with the meanings that I have assigned to them for this ritual. Thank you, thank you, thank you for offering your positive energy in this spell to help us take <clears throat> very positive and aligned, perfectly aligned, inspired action that ultimately and easily leads us to our highest potential of greatness and success and authenticity and us being the best versions of ourselves. So, yes, with only good intention, no I'm done. I feel like I've said that so many times, but it's that dang tower card, man. I'm scared of the tower card. If there's any card I'm scared of, it's the tower card, but I think it's necessary for this um, spell. But um, yes, thank you. Completely in our favor, better. Ashe, ashe, ashe. So I'm going to spread these out. Here, hold on, babe. I'm going to spread these out on this table over here, and I'm going to put the candle on the table. So hold one. Hold on. Be right back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Now we light the candle. Okay, babe, so I'm gonna use this leftover little incense stick and light it on fire with the existing candle that we have. And I'm going to use it to light our candle, so thank you, thank you, thank you. I have a really good feeling about this, so thank you. There we go. Our candle is lit, and now I'm going to place it in the middle of all of the tarot cards I just set on the table. Okay, our Reiki session. Now that it's been like 30 minutes, but I think that spell was just much needed, I think. <laughs> so <laughs> let's do this, babe. Okay, so first off, I'm going to shake up your energy or give you a little scalp massage, I think, before I shake up your energy. I'm going to just kind of lure out all of those fears that might be in your head, okay, babe? Luring out all those fears that might be in your head. Um, by 
combing them or massaging them out, okay? So, I'm just gonna Just massaging all around your head. Getting behind your ear. Feels good. And then behind your other ear. And then on the top of your head. And on the back of your head. And get the tippity top. Okay. Okay. So, thank you to the scalp massager. Now, I'm going to further shake up and lure out all that fearful energy within you, babe, with this um, red coral beads that I have here. So thank you, red coral, for just luring out, getting out all of that fear that might be trapped in us, all that analysis paralysis, okay, so that we can transmit. Okay, so I'm going to shake this around you. Can you hear the rain, babe? It's raining pretty hard out there. Oh my gosh, our candle. Oh my god, babe. The candle. I can't, like, don't look because I want you to stay relaxed, but... It's like the candle is so, the flame is big. It's so big, babe. The flame is so big. It's so big, babe. I'm so glad we're doing this. It's a very powerful spell. So yes, I'm just gonna shake this around you. Shake, shake, shake. And I'm gonna shake it around your body. That flame is so huge, babe. It's like sometimes candle flames will be small, indicating that, you know, there's not much power in the spell, but sometimes candle flames will be like really big and huge. And like this flame is so huge. I just don't want to pick it up because I don't want to like interfere with the spell and everything. But it's so huge, babe. 
Okay, so that was the red coral. Thank you, red coral, for assisting. Now, babe, what we're gonna do is I am essentially going to absorb um let's see yes I am going to absorb all of that fear that we just brought out of your energy now that it's that we brought it to the surface. I'm going to absorb it with this clear quartz. Okay, and then we are going to proceed to transmute it um, after I absorb it. Okay, so I'm gonna absorb it. Absorbing all that fear into this clear quartz. All of that analysis, paralysis, energy, we're absorbing it with the clear cords. Here. I just want to make sure to get all of that, all of it, all of it. I kind of want to massage your scalp one last time with my hands. Hold on, just to get that fear out, babe. Just getting that fear out, massaging. candle is so big, babe. The candle flame is so freaking big. I'm not kidding you, babe. Holy crapple. Holy freaking crapple. Oops. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, um, what is it, citrine crystal. We're gonna take this citrine crystal. We're gonna take all of that fear that we just absorbed in this clear quartz. And we're going to transmute it into courage. Solar plexus energy. Okay. All that energy that citrine represents as well as luck, money, abundance, okay? So, positive, inspired, action. Actually, babe, actually, I have another idea. Not only do I want to use this citrine crystal, but I also want to use this uh, carnelian for the passion passion and desire and um, malachite for positive transformation pink crackle quartz for joy and excitement okay 
And um, what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to take all these crystals, combine it with the clear quartz, and shake them all around you, jumble them, shake them all around you, and that will symbolize the transmuting process that we're, that's going to take place. So I'm going to draw one of my new symbols into it for the transmutation process. So Ouroboros, 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 thank you for helping transmute our fear into courage, inspiration, passion, desire, motivation to take inspired action towards being our best versions of ourselves. Um, being at our greatest and highest and fullest potential of greatness and success. Thank you, thank you, thank you. With no harm done and completely in our favor, Ashe. Dang, babe, the energy is crazy. The energy is so crazy. So yeah, I'm just going to shake these all around you, okay, babe? And it's going to represent the transmutation process. We're transmuting all that fear. We're redistributing it as good, positive, action-oriented energy for you to take inspired action. Fix my shirt. <laughs> The candle flame is so big, that's how you know it's gonna work. That's how you know this spell is working. That's a big candle flame. Those were the crystals. Thank you, crystals, for helping us transmute 
all that fear into courage. I will now be placing them over here. Um, I think I'm gonna take these crystals and just draw a symbol with them to you. Okay. Um, just for empowerment, empowerment. Okay. <sighs> Scepter. Okay. For authority over your own life. Okay. And trying to think of anything else. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay. So now, let's see what else there is to do. I want to do a singing bowl, babe, to help. <clears throat> I don't know what's wrong with my voice. To help align your chakras and align your energy, tune you back into alignment, okay? Because the thing about taking inspired action, it's all about being in alignment with your divine purpose and authenticity. Okay, being in complete, perfect alignment. So thank you, Singing Bowl, for bringing us into perfect alignment. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning and aligning and balancing and harmonizing our chakras and our energy field. Um, for us to be in perfect condition to take inspired action okay so thank you Chakure um, I also want to do one of my new symbols one of my new symbols um, I'm trying to think what are the new symbols hold on babe I want to go check my notebook because I haven't fully memorized like all of the new symbols. I need to check. What symbols do we got here? I'm just double checking. Okay, I'm gonna use the symbol called Jed for aligning our chakras and grounding, grounding and aligning. Um, Yes, harmony, steadiness, and harmony. So that's what Jed is about. So I'm gonna draw the symbol now. I'm gonna draw Jed. Okay, thank you, Jed, for assisting us, for bringing us into alignment and into harmony, um, steadiness, grounding and aligning our chakras and energy with the perfect inspired action for our highest potential. So now I'm going to stand a little bit away. 
because it is pretty loud. <laughs> but okay, so thank you. So Okay, so that was the singing bowl. I don't know if you could, t I don't know if you could notice the sound, but while I was doing that, our candle was making weird, like strange little noises, like little squeaky noises. I want to say I don't know. It was weird, but um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that was the singing bowl. Thank you, singing ball. Honestly, ever since I learned these new Reiki symbols, it's been a total game changer. I feel like my Reiki is like a million times more powerful than it was, which is crazy. Okay. So, let's see. I don't know if I want to use my selenite wand in this session. However, I want to use these little butterfly charms on you, babe. Okay, so these are little butterfly charms, little golden butterfly charms that um, I got for bracelet making. And the reason why I want to use butterfly charms on you is because... Um, Butterflies are a symbol of positive, beautiful transformation, okay? So, the thing about butterflies is that in their caterpillar phase, it's like, in their caterpillar and cocoon phase, it's like they're in their comfort zone. And then, 
when they actually become a butterfly and start flying, it's like that's them breaking out of their comfort zone, you know? So the butterfly in this session symbolizes us being the best versions of ourselves, um, being out of our comfort zone, and taking on life, being courageous, being beautiful, shining, and just being authentic, you know? So thank you butterflies for bringing that energy amplifying that energy for us um so yeah thank you i keep looking over to the candle sorry i keep checking the flame to see how it's doing it's doing pretty good okay so thank you butterflies i'm also gonna do the ouroboros 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 okay to symbolize transformation Rebirth, turning us into the greatest versions of ourselves, okay? So, I'm also going to shake this around you, okay, babe? So, thank you. versions of ourselves. I need to get your feet more. Hold on. Okay. So that was the butterfly. It's crazy, babe. I can like feel the energy. I can already feel the energy, and it's like actually pretty amazing. Okay. So I'm going to put two bracelets onto you, okay babe? So this is going to be a um, carnelian, uh, I think it's mixed with citrine possibly, or it's just carnelian. But it has a little butterfly charm as you can tell, okay? So I'm going to put this on your wrist to symbolize the courage, the passion, uh, the creative energy as well as the butterfly, you know, symboling, symbolizing that transformation. Okay, so thank you, Bracelet, for assisting in this session. Okay, I'm going to put it on your wrist now. Put it on your wrist. Okay, great, okay. Now I'm going to use this chakra bracelet. It's citrine mixed with these chakra beads to um, solidify the alignment of your energy and your chakras and the balance of those energies. Okay, babe? So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna put this on your other wrist. Okay. Amazing. 
Okay, so now, second to last thing that I want to use on you, babe, is this lipstick because I feel like it's bold. Okay, so I'm going to put this lipstick on you because I feel like it just symbolizes being bold, taking bold decisions, making bold decisions. Okay, babe. So I'm going to put this lipstick on you, do little symbols in it, put little symbols in it. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to put this on your lips now, okay, babe? <laughs> Okay, now do this. Oh my gosh, yeah. Babe, you look so good in lipstick. Okay. So, anyways. Well, I don't know if second to last. I don't know why this selenite is literally screaming at me right now to use it. But I want to use it to further... Um, transmute any energies that have that we might have missed and also just to um, further cleanse and and purify your energy make sure that it's just cleansed it's healthy it's in alignment and there are no harmful or negative energies in our aura okay so, I'm going to brush this around you. Thank you, Selenite One, for making sure our energy is cleansed and pure and balanced. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, let's do this. I'm going to draw a symbol as well. One, two, three, four. Thank you. So, I'm going to wave this around you, wave this around you, okay, our candle is burning so well, babe, it's crazy, this is probably one of the most powerful rituals I've ever But, you know, it's much needed. It's like, much needed because I hate being in my comfort zone, babe. But sometimes it's, you know, sometimes it's hard to get out of the comfort zone. And sometimes these kinds of rituals are just necessary. Just wrap it in the Okay, so just really making sure, kind of as a finishing touch. Okay, so thank you, Selenite. Thank you, Selenite, for assisting in this session. Okay, babe, the last thing that I want to use on you, 
I kind of want to try some like hypnotism, I guess, using this um, tiger's eye necklace. So tiger's eye, I felt was like a pretty good crystal to use. It's like, to me, it is a crystal of strength. It is a crystal of perseverance and, um, yeah, like, courage, strength, you know, so, yeah, thank you, Tiger's Eye, for representing those things in this session, I'm gonna use it as, like, a pendulum, is that what you call those pendulums? And I'm going to try to hypnotize you. So thank you, Tiger's Eye, for assisting in this session, for helping us give us strength, courage, bravery to take inspired action towards being the best versions of ourselves at our highest potential of greatness and success. Okay? So... I'm going to essentially, it might, <laughs> um, whether or not you focus on the necklace itself, I'm just going to wave it in front of you, okay? And I'm just going to like wave it and I'm going to say some affirmations to you, some commands if you will, or yeah, but just like take these on as your own, okay? Or just listen to me and take it in deep into your subconscious mind, okay, babe? So just focus or don't focus, but just know I am waving this in front of your face, okay, babe? <laughs> I'm trying to be serious here, but I'm going to say some things off the top of my head. You miss all the shots that you don't take, <laughs> okay? Failure is better than not trying at all. Trying and failing is more respectable than just not trying at all. You take action now. You take inspired action easily. You easily follow your inspiration. You easily take inspired action. There's no better time than now to take inspired action towards being the best version of yourself. You push past any resistance and you persist, eventually you will be successful. Success is inevitable if you keep trying. Um, I'm trying to think of more. <laughs> is better than no action. Progressive action is better than delayed perfection. You are capable. You believe you are capable. You feel capable. You feel more capable than ever to follow your dreams. You feel more capable than ever 
to be the best version of yourself. You feel more capable than ever to take inspired action. You feel more capable than ever to take the action that you need to take at this time to be the best version of yourself. You believe that you are capable fully of reaching your highest potential of greatness and success. You are determined to reach your highest potential of greatness and success. You will not stop until you are at your highest potential of greatness and success. Failure does not stop you. In fact, it motivates you even more to go even harder and eventually reach inevitable success. You have extreme, utter faith in yourself. You believe in yourself. You believe in yourself. You believe in yourself. You have total faith in yourself. You have total faith in your abilities, in your capabilities. You have complete faith in yourself. You know you are capable. You know you are certain that you are capable, that you are adequate, that you are qualified to be the best version of yourself. You do not settle. You never settle. You never, ever, ever, ever settle. You never stay in your comfort zone. Staying in your comfort zone is not an option for you, babe. Staying in your comfort zone is not an option. Giving up is not an option. It's never an option for you. The only option is trying and reaching inevitable success of your fullest potential of greatness. The only option for you is to persist and reach your highest potential of greatness and success. You will not stop until you reach your highest potential of greatness and success. You have extreme passion, extreme determination, extreme desire, to never ever give up on becoming the best version of yourself. Every day you're becoming more and more of the best version of yourself. Every day you take action to be the best version of yourself. Every single day, you are taking progressive action towards being the best version of yourself. You do not see giving up as an option. You only see persistence as your only option. You only see persistence 
an inevitable success as your only option. You believe in yourself wholeheartedly. You wholeheartedly believe in yourself, babe. You wholeheartedly believe in yourself. You believe in yourself. You believe you are capable of greatness. You believe you are capable of greatness. You are extremely capable. You are extremely capable. You wake up every single day motivated and inspired to take action towards being the best version of yourself. I believe in you, babe. I believe in you. You believe in you. I believe in you. You believe in you. You are capable. You are able. You are qualified. You are capable. You are extremely capable. You are extremely fit to do what you need to do to be the best version of yourself. You are fearless. You eat fear for breakfast and you transmute it into strength and courage every single day. You are fearless. And even if you do have fear, you push past it and you persist. Because you are capable. You are strong. You are powerful. You are brave. You can do this. If anyone can do this, you can. Because you are extremely capable of anything. You are extremely capable of progress. You are the most capable person I know. You are the most capable person I know. You are the most capable person I know. If anyone is going to be capable, it's you. You are capable. I believe in you. You believe in you. You are so confident. You are so brave. You are so courageous. You are so strong. You are unstoppable. You are unstoppable. Nobody can stop you. Absolutely nobody can stop you. Not even yourself. You can't even stop yourself. It's impossible. It's literally, physically impossible for you to be stopped on your journey of becoming the best version of yourself. You are unstoppable. You are unbeatable. You are indestructible. Nobody, absolutely nobody can stop you. You are the most unstoppable person. You are capable you are more than capable. You are more than capable. Becoming the best version of you? Easy. You being the best version of you? Realistic. Realistic as heck. You being the best version of you? Extremely realistic. You will stop at nothing in becoming the best version of yourself, babe. You will stop at nothing. Nothing can stop you. You are unstoppable. <laughs> okay, I admit, I kind of got into a trance there, but I hope that was, like, effective. So, thank you, Tiger's Eye, for assisting us. <laughs> this, um... This session is so long that our candle is almost done burning. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, it's almost done. 
So, yeah, babe, um, I'm gonna seal this Reiki into you, okay? I'm gonna seal it into you, and, um, the candle is going to remain burning after I'm finished, okay? So, let's just imagine you filled with this Reiki, filled with this divine courage and strength and energy and inspiration and passion and desire. Okay. I'm just imagining you filled with this Reiki and this desire. It's kind of interesting because I'm intuitively picking up that this Reiki is like the element of it is fire so it's kind of like when I imagine you filled with this Reiki it's kind of like this fiery Reiki but it's not bad it's just interesting so Okay, I'm going to seal it in, okay? Raku. 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 Sealing in this Reiki into you. So I'm just sealing this in. Gonna make sure to get your soul star. Okay, babe. That was it. That was the Reiki. And our candle is, like, seriously almost done. So that's crazy. I really hope this works for you, babe. I think it worked for me. <laughs> but we'll see. Okay, babe, I love you. I hope this worked. I hope you liked it. Did you like it? Okay, babe, I'm kind of tired. Let's go to bed or something, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, babe, let's go to bed. Good night.